Right, so before I start on the main content of this video, a little update on what I've done in here. A few spurs. I've got a separate ring main for the machines. So I've got two there, one there. Uh, what's this? It's its own ring main. So the three machines are on their own ring main. Uh, the power goes from the box, from the board, down, down here to the fuse spur, back up, along, down to that one before going back to the board. Um, but in this box, I then piggybacked off of it to go across to the other one next to it. So there's one for the lathe and one for the drill, just there. Back to everything else. So at first glance, I've taken the roof off of the coronation. Can't remember if I put that in a different video. Uh, all the controls are out. And this is the 4QD box. So there is plenty of space in it there. So I just need to affix it to the to the bracket there. I'll get that bolted on. Um, or at least get the fixings for it so it can be bolted on. And then we'll start looking at all of the wiring. I will talk you through all that. Um, not in a huge amount of detail, but I will go through it. Uh, because who knows, it might be interesting to somebody. So I took the plate out of the engine. As you can see, it's got a fold in it. Um, I drilled two holes to take the bottom screw holes. But... Uh, the top ones left me a problem. So what I'm going to do, or have done, is I've drilled another hole right through the alley back plate, um, both ends, and that hole I am going to tap, and the, the steel plate I will open out to clearance hole. So a quick break from the coronation. Uh, I'm down to the club, and we're testing out the Britannia. Daughter and friend's son follow me around. Let's see how she goes. So on that first lap, which I just showed you. I was heading up the hill and I was thinking, the pressure's just dropping still. I can't understand it. But I soon realised the water level hadn't dropped as either and the bypass was shut. So it was fighting against the bypass putting water in. So I had put the blower on that first lap to, to counteract this. Then I realised the problem, opened the bypass, it seemed to be steaming okay. I switched, turned the blower off, gone for a second lap going well looked out the other side and there was water pumping out the side the pipe on the bypass had, had come disconnected i'll just put that back on which is why i've got a slow pull away up the hill but so far the signs are encouraging it seems to be steaming okay we'll have to have a better lap to discover it i'll let you know in a second so here's Luke driving the Britannia. And I'm pleased to say he managed six laps non-stop. Which is a bit more evident. Pretty much sorted. Following my successful run at the club, I have just got home and I thought I'd show you something I figured out this morning. Um, I carry the engine from where it lives in the house to the car. But this morning, after having an epiphany yesterday, I used my garden trolley to, to transport it. But with the sides up, it's a bit awkward dropping it into the thing anyway. So I'd, I'd lowered an end. But it was a little bit on the low side. It could do with effectively a platform on top. So I've just 
found some bits of wood and let's show you what I've done with it. So I found one old shelf that was a bit longer than the barrow. I screwed a couple of bits of wood to the bottom of it so it can't slide sideways or forward and backwards. And I've also put a block of wood on each end so anything that's on there can't roll off. And that will make life, make life a lot easier moving the thing around. So I can just lift it out of the car and onto there, wheel it to the back door, and then just take it into the room to put on the shelf. And there she is, straight out the back of the car onto the trolley to wheel around. And there we go. And of course, because the bits are just screwed to the wood to stop it sliding about, I can just lift it out. And once again, I have my trolley back. So that's it for today. Um, I know I started off working on Coronation. That will carry on next time. Um, be a bit more uh, concentrated on that now because I am happy with the Brit. She's in a stage where I can now just pick her up and take her to open days or take her to our club or just use her in general. I am very happy with how she's running. So, on to the electric loco and then we can gradually tick the jobs off the list. It's uh, nice to have got one project done and finished. It feels good. So, next time, onto the, onto the coronation and we will get this 4QD uh, controller wired up. All that remains to be said is thanks for watching. Um, it's great to know I've got your, all your support. Today I went past 950 subscribers which is incredible. Please do keep liking, subs sharing, subscribing, whatever. If you've got any ideas for the name of my garden railway, that would be appreciated. I'm still trying to think of a name. Um, and yes, I will be back. Uh, partly on this, partly on the railway. But we will be back. Um, yeah, so for now, I'll just just want to say one more time thanks so much for subscribing and watching so far if i can get to a thousand it will be incredible so please do keep subscribing thanks a lot and i will see you next time